Okay. Tell the person next to you what you've heard. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fly. What was the fly doing? Buzzing. Buzzing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The frogs. Frogs. And what were the frogs doing? What do frogs do? Mm. What do they do in your walk? Walk. Walk. In children's books, it's usually croak. Birds, yeah. birds singing. Yeah. Is there they any do. other words to do with birds? Yeah. What they would do? Yes, yeah. like singing. Do you know any other words? No? Yeah. Twittering. You know, tweet, tweet, tweet. There's Twitter. There's social media. Yeah, but that comes from tweet. Birds tweeting. You know? Twittering. The paper. Paper. And what does the paper do? Yeah. Do you know the word for that? Russell. Russell. Yeah, Russell. The, the rustling of the paper. It's R U S, -S, -S, -S T L L E. Great. Yeah. Russell E. e. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's hear let's hear some examples. Just just shout out some things that you've heard. Flies buzzing. Flies buzzing. Seagulls crying. The blowing of the wind. Of the wind. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. Crickets, yeah, crickets, yeah. Pens clicking, very nice. Pens clicking. People whispering. People whispering, good. Crickets, what people. People. Yeah, what do crickets do? Yeah? They rub their hands together. I don't know. They rub, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have word in your languages yeah. for yes. that? Yeah. Siri Pelni. in Hungarian, yeah? Siri Pelni. What else do we have it? What is it in Serbian, Bosnian? In Ukrainian, what is it? Because because these 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 words are often onomatopoeic, aren't they? Yeah, these things. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what crickets do. Do you, Fiona? Singing. Yeah. Yeah. Chirping and chattering. Chirping. Ah, that's quite nice. Yeah. We use that. What do birds? We've heard so many birds in the last ninety seconds. What do What do birds do? Twitter, chirp, chatter. Twitter, chirp, chatter. And of course, Twitter, the social media. That this comes from this, doesn't it? To tweet. The the original meaning of tweet is a bird, isn't it? And the symbol of, on Twitter is the bird. Our birds trill. Your birds trilled, huh? Mm. It's interesting. Uh -huh. what, what's the word for the sound that seagulls make? Yeah. Is it mewing or mewling of the seagulls? Ah, gosh, yeah. Uh, see, yes, yeah, shrieking. I often. It, de it depends often whether you see it as a positive or a negative. Thing, you know, some people don't like the sound of seagulls. You know, they're shrieking. Yeah, right? or or uh, crying. I think. Crying is often used, eh? and I don't know with the word cry, when do you teach the word cry meaning to shout? Basically, when we teach the word cry, it's <laughs> cry, but when do we, uh, he cried out, you know, or the seagulls cry, as in shout. Do you ever teach that? Yeah, yeah. at the same time. And at the same time, do you? Yeah? Uh-huh. I normally do, that. Uh-huh. Okay. I do say in a collocation, cry out in pain. Cry, yeah, cry out, not just cry, yeah, cry out in pain. Because it's always good, isn't it, to, uh, to, to look at contexts of, 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 of words and not just to look at individual words. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's good, yeah, yeah, from, from the town crier, isn't it, yeah? It's, it's from, the, from the pragmatics or the practical point of view in the classroom, you can use it for the present continuous. Grammar is not intrinsically inspiring, so it's quite nice to have something that kids enjoy. I mean, I do this, but I do live in a noisy environment. I live in Spain. You know, I used to live in Seville, which is, I think it's something like the second noisiest city on earth, officially, after Tokyo. Yeah. Um, but it is, you get some, but the other thing with it is, it's, it's, it's not based on, but there's a type of meditation that's very similar. Can't remember the name of it, do you remember? There's a kind of meditation that people do. It's very much in fashion at the moment for corporate 
bosses, they sit for 15 minutes, just sit and focus on their senses and what they can hear and what they feel and etc. And it kind of eliminates all stress. And it sounds strange to imagine teens doing it. Mm -hmm. But once you've got over the being silly and the giggling and the whatever, they do do it because it's relaxing. And it's very stressful being a teenager. It's not just stressful <laughs> teaching them, it's stressful being one. They have a lot of stuff going on and a lot of... So they do anything you do in class that actually helps them relax. They actually latch onto and they enjoy it. Okay, and now share what you've written with somebody. Um, dogs, serious um, people which are in front of it, and uh, well, the hills, the and then with the dogs, the same flying seagulls and mm -hmm. other birds, mm -hmm. bending of the trees mm -hmm. and bushes, people walking along the what have you found? What have you written down there? Grass, uh -huh. roofs, water, flowers, mud, mm -hmm. trees, mm -hmm. sky, cars, dogs, mm -hmm. horses, fans, cables, hay, hay is right. the word for Yeah, 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 yeah.